Okay, here we are. All right, hi everybody. Welcome, welcome. Diane, oh, Heather, been coming a lot. Moral, Megan, oh, my little Miriam. Rhonda, Sonia, Amy, welcome guys, come on in. Hey, 
Maria, come on in. Still connecting. I hope she can get on. Oh, hey, Jane. Didn't see you come in. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Erica, welcome. Hello, Sue. Good morning. Hey, Pooh. Well, it's just came in and I mess. Oh. Hi, Donna, come on in. Hi, Gayla. Make sure you guys are connected to the audio. Can't hear me. Hey, Susie, welcome, welcome. I think everybody's connected on you. Yeah. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Good, thank you. Glad to see you're here. I miss all my teacher babies. <laughs> okay. Ah, Stephanie. Okay. <clears throat> I think you guys, uh, you guys are here with me. Last time we did standing mat. So um, if you didn't, no big deal. 
Um, we're going to do some of the same things, but some of the different things, but you don't need any props or anything. Um, but we will be doing some balance work. So if you feel like balance is an issue for you, um, bring something close by like a chair or I'm going to have a foam roller close to me today, um, as well as the cubbies on the wall. So anything that you think might help you balance, go ahead and grab that or get yourself set up for that. And then um, you can always turn your video on if you want to kind of watch yourself, um, you know, in your screen and check your form and stuff. But I'm not going to be offering any like personal corrections. But you know me, I'll of course give you lots of modifications and stuff as we go through class. But the cool thing about standing Pilates is that we don't really need a lot of modifications um, to do this work. So I think everyone should be able, be able to keep going right along with us. Hey, Joan, just saw you come on in. Victoria. Hi, Leslie. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Okay, I'm putting on mute. Again, you know, if I have this extra time on my hands, I can give myself a little extra attention <laughs> when my three year old will leave me alone at least. <laughs> uh, um, speaking of three year olds, Jane, I'm gonna um, reach out to you later. So I got some questions for you, just so you are aware. If you get a weird text from a number you don't know, it's gonna be me. Oh, good. You have my number. Give me a call anytime. Okay, I have some questions for you. Thank you, my friend. Got a few more people coming in. Oh, yay, another one of my teacher friends. Luz, come on in. That's so funny. And Will Marie. Oh, yay, welcome. I haven't seen you in forever. It feels so weird to be like, hi guys, see you on Zoom. Yeah, like, we see each other, but we don't really like see each other. It's kind of weird, but I really like it. The other thing I really like about um, teaching these virtual classes is you guys are like in your own space. So you get to experiment with your bodies and just kind of move freely without worrying about like anybody else in the room judging you or worrying about your form or anything like that. So I think it's actually helped a lot of people um, kind of come into their own and maybe even understand Pilates a little bit deeper. So. It's been really fun to teach you guys all these math classes. We'll keep going after this week, but I have a little announcement about that before we finish. Okay, so I'm sure there's gonna be some people coming in last minute. Um, just make sure that you're all set up. Again, you don't need props or anything um, unless you need um, help with balance. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab like a foam roller or put your chair close by. Um, maybe bring yourself close to a wall. I'm gonna have a foam roller and I'm gonna be using the cubbies for my balance. Um, <clears throat> but you just want to have some free space to move around because standing Pilates, we're going to be doing lots of arm stuff and kind of moving around a little bit more than we might on the mat space. And other than that, we will be good to go. So I'll give you a couple seconds to get settled and I'm going to bring my poster out of the way. Perfect. There we are. Okay, so at any point in time we like um, cut out from each other or if you can't hear me or you have something going on um, that you need to share, you can feel free to unmute yourself because it's going to be hard for me to see the chat from where I'm at and then just scream at me uh, for whatever you need. Uh, but we are going to start standing. So get up off the floor. You haven't been sitting too long anyway. Um, stand where you're comfortable. Just bring your feet at least a fist or two's distance apart right underneath of your hips and just kind of Roll out the shoulders and just notice what you feel like. Just stand for a moment. You can close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. And are you sinking more weight into your heels? Are you sinking more weight into the big toe? Is the big toe even on the floor? I want you to notice what your feet are doing and try to place as much weight evenly throughout the feet as you can. As much on the big toe, as much on the pinky toe, and as much on the heel as possible. And then from there, I want you to imagine a little ball between your inner thighs. And I want you to just kind of imagine you're squeezing the inner thighs up and pulling that ball up towards your tummy. Relax the shoulders, roll them out a little bit, try to keep that engagement in the lower body. Tighten up the glutes a little bit if that's available for you here. I want the lower body to be active. From here, place your hands right on your rib cage. 
but we're going to start with a little bit of breathing. Take a nice big inhale and allow your ribs to expand. And as you exhale, closing the ribs, allowing them to relax, keeping the chest proud. I want you to round the shoulders forward. Inhale, allow the ribs to expand. And then exhale, allow the ribs to come together. As you're doing this, you're gonna feel those hands and those fingers kind of pull away from each other and then come right back together. Your ribs never actually connect together, but I want you to feel this feeling of a knitting of these ribs trying to come in towards each other. Take a couple more breaths like that, really trying to pull your abs. Imagine you're trying to tuck your abs up under your ribs. You're pulling them up as much as you're pulling them in. Take one more nice breath here, trying to focus on the core and just get centered into the room. And then as you exhale, just bring your arms gently by your side. From here, take your right arm up and bend up and over to the other side. Looking up towards the ceiling, start to open up the side body. Take a nice big inhale here. Exhale to come up. Inhale the opposite direction and exhale to go over. And we're going to continue to flow like this through lateral flexion. You can inhale through the center and then exhale to come up and over, but nothing too crazy with the arms. Just let yourself kind of flow here. I want you to keep your feet nice and even. And so think about all of the little things we talked about when you were just standing. Are your feet still even on the floor? Pinky toes still down, big toes still down. Heels have as much weight as the balls of the feet. One more up and over to one side and then come back to the center, leaving the arms out to the side. We're going to start twisting. So bring out your waist as you twist to the right. Right. and then come back center. Take your gaze to your back hand. Twist to the left and come back center. Noticing that the feet are trying to change and when we twist one direction, one arch of the foot is going to try to lift and the other one's going to try to pull into the floor. Your feet almost feel like they're going side to side, but I don't want that to happen. So as you're twisting, try to even out the weight on your feet and keep your gaze moving to the back hand to start to twist through the cervical spine as well. Let's go five more seconds here, just bringing out the waist for three. And for two. And on one stop in the center, sweep the arms up. Take a nice big inhale and then just dive forward. Scoop that belly and round. If you have any kind of discus or osteoporosis, remember you're hinging instead of rounding. And then just hang out there for a second. Nod the head a little yes, no, shake out the tension. Scoop the belly, roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time, send the arms back up to the ceiling. Inhale, let's scoop the belly and round again to go forward, lifting the abs in and up. Allow the head to hang heavy. Scoop the belly and roll back up, arms to the ceiling. Let's do it a few more times. As you're doing this, try not to stick your butt backwards. Try to stay even on your feet like you're diving over an electric fence, trying not to burn your tummy. And come right back up. Do that one more time. Round forward and hang out down there for a second. If your hands don't touch the floor, soften the knees till they do. And then bend and straighten your knees a few times, feeling a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Letting the head hang here will actually help you stretch more. If it's available to you, sink the hands a little deeper to the floor, and maybe three more. And for two. And for one, soften the knees ever so slightly so we can roll the spine all the way up. Sweep your arms back behind you and come into extension. So lifting your heart correct. And then arms come back up and circle around to come into extension again. And then up to the ceiling, stand tall and circle back around. Open up the heart really proud. Gaze to where your collarbones are looking. Let's go two more here to open up the chest. And one more here, reach back and hold. If you can clasp the hands behind you, go ahead and do that. And try to push your hands away from your butt as you keep your chest proud and look straight ahead. Don't look to the ceiling. For three. And for two. And for one, release the arms down. Bring your hands onto the hips for me. <clears throat> You can bring them here, or if you want to place your hands in a triangle, right on the pelvis like we do sometimes in class, you're welcome to do that. But I want us to move the pelvis a little bit. I want you to hike one hip up and then bring it back down. Hike the other hip up and bring it down. I want you to try to do this without moving the feet too much. Try not to let your ribs move too much. There's going to be a little bit of movement. The heel might lift a little bit off the floor, but don't try to lift up too much for four more. And for three. And for two. And for one, even it out. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. Tilt your pelvis into an anterior tilt so you have an arch in the back. And then come to neutral. And then curl the pelvis under so you have a posterior tilt. And then come back to neutral. Reach the booty backwards, stick the chest out. And then come back to a neutral spine. Curl the pelvis under, scoop the belly in. And then come back up. Let's do that a few more times. Just moving that pelvis forward and back. Trying to, just like we do on the mat, finding a neutral pelvis each time in that um, in-between spot. Let's go for two more. 
and for one, find your arch and then come back to neutral and stay. From here, keep your hands on your hips for me. <clears throat> Shift your weight to your left foot. See if you can bring your right foot up and off the floor in any kind of position and just test your balance. This might be where you need a little prop or something, but just see what happens and try to hold for three and for two. And for one, place the foot down. Shift your weight into the opposite foot, lift it up. Hold for a moment. Notice one side's a little harder than the other. Notice your hips are probably moving in your hands. And place the foot down. Let's go back to the other side, take another balance check. Can you even out the weight on your foot? Your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel feel even. And try not to rock the hips. Hold three. Hold two. Hold one. Place the opposite foot down and do it to the other side. Once you find your balance, make sure the foot is even on the floor. Make sure one hip is not hiked up more than the other. You should feel your hands super steady on your pelvis. Hold for three. Try to squeeze through those inner thighs like we started with. And for two. And for one, place the foot back down. I want you to keep your legs open, but heel toe them out a little bit wider for me. And then turn to face one side. Go ahead and reach the arms up and then fold forward into a lunge and start to open up through the hip flexor. I want you to keep the hands on the mat if you can. <clears throat> and reach through the back heel as you lift your heart a little proud. And then round the spine down. And then lift the heart proud. We're going to do that two more times. Round and relax. And then lift the heart. And when you do it like Eve's lunge, you feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor. One more here. Can you bring both or lift up to the heart? And then as you round forward, bring both feet back together. Scoop the belly roll all the way up to stretch the same leg that was behind you. Grab that foot and see if you can take a calf or a thigh stretch. From here, we're again testing out your balance for three and for two. And for one, step that foot back behind you and turn back to face forward. Let's go to the other side. So turn the opposite direction, arms up, and then bow forward into a lunge. Scoop the left leg or whichever leg's behind you back a little further. Reach through that heel as you lift your chest proud. Feel a stretch through the hip flexor. And then just relax down onto the thigh. And then scoop the belly and lift up proud. And then come right back down. Just allow your hands to be on the mat however feels good for you here. And relax. One more here. Lift your heart proud. Good. And then rounding. Set both feet together. Hold. Chin to chest. Roll the spine up one very great time. And grab the opposite foot. Oop. Grabbing on for something if you need balance. Test it out. Feel a stretch through the front of your quad for three. Bring your heel to your seat for two. And four. One. Bloody good job. All right, stand with your heels together, toes apart, in Pilates stance. Let's test our balance again. <clears throat> Before we start to move, I want you to even out the weight on your feet. Make sure your toes, your pinky toe, and your heels are even. Heels are together, toes are fist distance apart. Lift and lower. As you're lowering and lifting those heels on and off the floor, I want you to think about the zippering up of your inner thigh. Try to squeeze through the backs of the thighs and tighten up right where your butt and your thigh meet. Try to keep the heels together. And resist gravity slower to lower the heels than you did to lift. Go for three more. And for two. One more. Lift those heels up. Lower them halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up. For three. And for two. And for one. Slowly lower the heels down, bringing your hands by your side. I'm going to turn to the side here because we're going to go into the hundred. And it's almost like chest expansion. <clears throat> so keep your feet in Pilates stance, heels together, toes apart, allow your arms to drape by your side. Curl the shoulders back, press the arms behind you. You should feel the triceps lengthen and engage. And start to pump. In, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Now continue to pump the arms just like this. Try not to move the hands, move from the tricep. And as you're doing this, we're gonna add in some progressions. If this is hard enough for you, keep going where you are. If you would like to add a little bit of challenge, lift up the heels, try to balance. In for five, and out for five. Heels can go halfway down if you need a reprieve, but try to keep them lifted. From here to add more challenge, keep the arms behind you, but fold forward and gaze to your toes as though we were doing it on the floor. Give me two more breaths. In for five, four, three, two, one, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Last breath. Can you lift the heels a little higher for three and two and one and lower down the heels. Arms come by your side. This is where you might need a prop and into a little more balance work. Stand with your feet again in Pilates stance. Toes fist distance. Opposite hand on the hip or both. Or if you need a prop, one hand on the prop. Let's take the left leg forward and then bring it right back in. 
just like a ballerina, reach the toe forward and put it right back down. Now kick that leg forward and I want you to draw a circle on the floor over to the side and then draw your legs back together. Go forward, circle to the side and come back together. Now as we continue through this motion, this is the same motion your leg is going to make but we're going to take it into the air and test your balance. From here, start to bring the leg off the floor to circle it around and right through the center and circle and around, but try not to let the leg go behind you. I want it to stop right to the side before it comes back in. Let's go for three more here. If this feels like it's too much, draw a smaller circle in front of you for two. And for one, stop your leg forward and give me some pulses up, up. Scoop the belly, lift up tall, try to find your balance. For four, three, two, one, circle it to the side and do the same thing here. Lift, 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 test your balance for five, Four, three, two, one, and place the foot down, going to the other side. If you have a prop on one side, I suggest switching it to the other. If you have both hands on the hips, just keep going right along. Let's start with the foot on the floor. Go forward, side, and in. Forward, side, and in. Now, as you're going along, try not to let the leg go behind you. The leg's going to make the same motion in the air. Try to find your balance when you feel like you can. Start to take the leg off the floor to circle. And in. Try to find Pilates stance, even though that foot's not on the floor before you come in around. Don't let the leg go behind you. And if that's too big or challenging your balance too much, make your circle smaller. Let's go for three more. And for two. And for one, bring both feet back down to Pilates stance. Switch your prop if you need to. Back to the opposite leg. We're gonna go backwards this time for single leg circle. So now, take your leg back to the side and in. Back to the side. And in. When you feel ready, lift the leg off the floor to do it. And around. So now we're doing single leg circle to the back instead of to the front. If that's too much, just draw a smaller circle. Go for three. And for two. And for one, let's switch sides. Going to the other side, bringing your prop there if you need to for your balance. Start back, side, and in. Back, side, and in. When you're ready to lift that foot off the floor, don't let it come in front of you. We're doing single leg circle to the back. Hand on the hip to make sure your hips aren't wobbling in space for two. And for one, and we come back down. Open your feet about hip distance. You probably won't need your prop here. Arms go up towards the ceiling. Let's do some roll downs, AKA spine stretch. Inhale, exhale, scoop the belly and round down. Bend the knees as you need to and just hang like a rag doll for a second. And then scoop your belly and roll all the way up. Arms to the ceiling. Let's do that again. Make it nice and easy. Roll down, bend the knees, hang out, and then scoop the belly to roll up. Now we're going to take a little more uh, mat like. So instead of bending the knees, I want you to round down until you feel like you can't keep your legs straight anymore. As soon as they want to bend, that's where you stop. You're probably not even close to touching your toes. And then scoop the belly and roll back up. Inhale here, exhale, scoop up and over. Keep the weight to the balls of the feet. Hang out. And then scoop the belly to come up. If you were doing this on the mat, it would look like the same shape. You're looking just like this when you're standing. Let's do a couple more just like that. Roll it up. Arms to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Tie the floor. Let's do one more just like this. Roll it up. And this time as you roll down, hang out down there. And from here, give me little pulses up with the tummy. Up with the tummy for five, four. Let the head hang. Three, two, one. And scoop the belly to come up. Open your legs as wide as feels good for you. Arms out to the side. Back to a little rotation. Keep your arms parallel to the floor. Twist and come back center. Inhale through the center and exhale to twist. Eyes to the hands as you go to the back. Now notice if your feet are moving on the floor, just like we did for our warm up. But now the legs are a little bit wider. You actually might have a better base of support here. Let's go five more seconds. And for four. And for three. And for two, come into the center on one. We're gonna take it into salt. Look at your feet though for me. Make sure your toes are a little more parallel. You wanna feel the outside edge of your foot pushing into an imaginary wall. Twist to one side and then take your opposite pinky finger to your opposite pinky toe and hold. Take your opposite hip and pull it back. Try to ease out the weight on your feet. Come up and untwist. Twist to one side, pinky finger to pinky toe, hold. Draw the opposite hip back and come up to untwist. Continue just like this, trying to keep the hips even. 
and come up. The tendency is, is as you reach down, one hip is going to come forward and keep it back. It might feel like you have less range of motion, but it should feel like that same scooping feeling we felt in spine stretch is still happening in soft. Five more seconds here, finish even. You may not even touch your pinky. And for three. And for two. And for one. And come all the way up and take a rest. Heel toe your feet back together. And grab onto a prop if you need to, back to a little balance work. Going into standing or side lying work, I want you to stand with your prop or your uh, chair, whatever you have off to the side. Feet back to Pilates stance for me, hand on the hip. Let's go right side first. So shift your weight to your left foot and take your right leg straight out to the side in the air. Use your prop to balance. Keep the toe externally rotated like Pilates stance and then pull the heels together. Lift and lower. Now, as you're moving the leg, I want you to keep the body straight. Tendency is you're gonna lean to the side to give your leg a little bit of space from the floor. Instead of leaning, I want you to lift to give yourself space from the floor. When you feel ready, hands can come behind the head. Hands can come onto the hips. Arms can go out to the side. Just take a little balance. If I just challenge here for five. And for four. Three. And two, kick the leg out on one. Hold. Bend the knee in and out like frog. I want you to think my knee is coming towards my armpit. And then push away. Inhale. And exhale. Again, hands can come to a place of balance or challenge as you need to. Let's go for three more. And for two. And for one, push it out. Hold. Point and flex. Point and flex. Now, while you're doing this with your leg in the air, I want you to lift up and off of your opposite leg. Squeeze where your butt and your thigh meet on your standing side. For three, two. Point and hold on one. Draw a circle for three, two. One, reverse, challenge your balance for three, two, and one, hold, flex the foot, parallel, forward, and back, ooh, I almost kicked that wall, forward, and back, try not to let the hips rock, if your prop is rocking, so are your hips, for three, and for two, and for one, and the foot can come down to rest. You should actually feel your standing leg as much as your working leg. From here, we're going to turn to face our prop and do the same leg that was in the air, in the air again. I'll take this wall. Find a place of balance for yourself. Feet parallel this time. From here, take that same leg that was in the air back behind you, point the toe, and then lift. And lift. Try to squeeze where the butt and the thigh meet. Try to keep the pelvis from rocking. It's super small. If you lift and your butt sticks out and your back arches, too hot. Keep it small. Five, four, three, two. Lift it up and hold for little pulses. Sit. Five, four, three, two. Hold on one. With a parallel leg, you're going to flex your foot, kick your butt, point your foot away. Flex to kick and point to lengthen. When you lengthen that leg, I want you to squeeze where the butt and the thigh meet and try to keep that knee that's moving behind your standing knee. If your bottom leg or standing leg bothers you, soften the knee for three, and for two, and for one. Now we're gonna kick, kick, flex to point. Point, point, flex to kick for three, two, one. Stretch and come all the way down. Cross the right ankle over the left knee and sit back for here. Form a standing stretch. And let's do both sides while we're here. While you're stretching, scoop your belly. Use a prop if you need to for balance for three. And for two. And for one. All the way up. Bad news, we have to do the other side. <laughs> so grab your prop back. If you need a prop, uh, help with your balance, find Pilates stance and recenter for a second. Make sure your hand is on your hip to start for balance. Take that leg out to the side. Lift it off the floor by lifting off of your standing leg. And then bring it in and out. Stay in external rotation for me. Don't go so high that your hips rock or that you lean like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I want you to lift up tall like the Eiffel Tower. Let's go for four more. And for three, squeeze your thighs together and squeeze them up towards your uh, hoo-ha. And for two. And for one, kick the leg out and hold, bend and extend. Think knee to shoulder or knee to armpit, probably never gonna happen. 
but that's where you're aiming for four more. And for three, push the heel away like you're moving a heavy boulder for two. And for one, hold, point and flex. Take a moment and try to find your balance. Challenge yourself at any point in time like you did on the other side. Go for three. Pull up off the standing leg for two. One, point and hold, three circles. Two circles. One circle reverse. Your standing leg should be tired, it's already done work. One more here, we hold. Flex, parallel, kicks, forward and back. Try not to rock your prop. If your prop is moving, so are you. For three, standing leg is on fire. For two, and for one, come back center and bring the foot in. Let's turn to face the prop and do your glute on the other side. Hands on the prop or the wall, whatever you need. Be parallel this time. Reach the left leg or the opposite leg back behind you and start to lift lower. Again, try not to lift so high that your pelvis rocks or you lean into your prop. Your prop should never be moving. For four, and three, and two, and one, lift it up and hold for pulse, pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. Flex and point to kick away. Flex to bend point to extend. We'll reverse that here in a second. If you're familiar with mat work, this is just like single leg kick, if you know what I'm talking about. If not, no worries. For three, and for two, and for one. Now we're going to kick, kick with a point, and flex to extend. Kick, kick with a point, flex to extend. Give me three more here. Notice my upper body is not moving an inch. For two, and for one, and bring the foot down for pure form of stretch. Cross one ankle over the opposite knee. Let's do it on the other side. If you need a reprieve, now's a good time to take it. And then switch to the other side. Make sure you're breathing for three. And for two. And for one. Ooh, holy glute work. All right, everybody. So we're going to take this into a little choreography with an exercise called neck. I'm going to do it standing and then I'm actually going to show it to you lying down so you can see how it's recreated standing. So stand for me and face uh, long ways on your mat. Feet open about fist distance. Hands go behind the head. Interlace the fingers and keep your elbows in your peripheral the whole time. I want you to pull your elbows around your face and scoop the belly to round forward. Aim your elbows to the outside of your knees. From here, open the elbows. Lift with a flat back. And then lift up, up, up to stand tall. Elbows folded, we round to go forward. Elbows to the outside of the knee. Lift up tall and proud. And then scoop the belly to come back tall. Now continue just like that. I'm going to do it on the mat. If we take it to the floor, it looks just like we do when we're standing. We fold the elbows in. We roll up and reach the outside of the knee. We lift with a flat back. And then we try to hinge back as much as we can to stand back. Tall, let's do two more. Elbows fold in. Roll the spine down. Elbows to the outside of the knee. Let the big knees go between the knees. Elbows out, chest lifts. And then scoop the belly to stand tall. One more. Elbows in. Scoop the belly to roll down. Elbows to the outside of the knee. Let the head hang heavy. Elbows open. Lift and scoop to come back and up. Turn to face the same way that you are on the mat. Arms go up to the ceiling. Inhale, guess what? We're planking. Roll it down. <laughs> Once you get your hands to the mat, walk on out and hold a plank for them. Reminders, you can stay on your hands. You can drop to the knees. If you go to your knees, just shift your body weight forward. I don't want your butt over your feet. From here, just hold your plank. Try to push down with your hands evenly like we were with our feet. And just hold up the earth. Scoop the belly in. Try to draw the inner thighs close together, even if they're not touching. Hold for four. Hold for three. Hold for two. On one, hike the hips up for me. Walk the hands in, and you have two options. You can roll up like normal, or hands behind the head, lift, and stand back up. Arms to the ceiling, we go down again, scoop the belly, soften the knees as you need to, walk the hands up, and find a plank. If you want to go on your forearms, parallel like this on the floor. Do not hold your own hands. This is asking for the work in your neck. Hold again for four. And for three, pretend you're spreading the mat wide with your hands or your forearms. For two. And for one, pipe the hips up, walk the hands in. From here, you can roll the spine up or slap back. Elbows wide, lift up, nice and tall. 
we're going down again. Arms up. Inhale. You're like, why aren't you doing this with us? It's hard to teach and work out at the same time. Pull your side down one vertebrae at a time and walk out and find your plank. From here, you can either hold and stay where you are, or we're gonna go into leg pull. You're gonna lift your right foot off the floor, shift forward, back, put it down. One shift today. Left foot up, forward, back, put it down. If this feels like it's too much, just hold a plank for five more seconds to finish even. And for four, and for three, and for two, and for one. This time, pipe the hips up, hold, and pedal out your legs for a little stretch. For three, and for two, and for one. Guess what? We get to go to the mat a little bit. Bend the knees and sink down, find child's pose. Toes together, booty back to the heels, arms reach long. Active stretch, scoop your belly from your thighs and just hang out there. For three, two, and on one, walk to the right side of the mat. Reach the left arm as long as the right. Take a little stretch through the obliques on this side. We're going to use those obliques here in a second. Let the head relax. I'm just lifting mine so you can hear me for three. And two. On one, go to the other side. Reach the right arm as long as the left. Head hangs as heavy as you can. Are both butt cheeks touching your heels? If you can, try to get them even. For three. And for two. And for one, walk back into the center. Inhale. And exhale to roll the spine. On and up. We're gonna stay on the mat for a little bit, slowly making our way down. We should do the opposite, right? So if you have sensitive knees, I suggest rolling the mat up, or you can do this standing. I'm gonna roll my mat up just a tad and come kneeling right through me. All right, knees and feet are even with your hips. Try not to let your feet come together unless you feel like you're gonna fall. Reach your arms out in front of you for thigh stretch. Gaze to your middle fingers and never look away. Inhale to lean back. And exhale to come forward. Tendency for thigh stretches, we're going to lean back with extension. Flat back. Inhale with a flat spot. Exhale, come forward. Now, if you don't come all the way forward, you're going to still be in a lean. So make sure head over shoulders, over hips, over knees is happening at the end. Go for three more. And for two. One more here. When you come back up, reach for the mat and take cat cow around the spine. And extend. We're going to go back into thigh stretch. If you didn't like it, you can continue with a plank, or you can just take a little stretch to do some more cat cows. For three. And for two. And for one. Find a nice neutral spine. Walk the hands back towards the knees. Roll the spine all the way up. Arms back forward. We're going to add on. From here, lean back and press the arms back as you look right. Come forward. Can you get your hands over the heels? Look left. And come forward. If not, no big deal. Just reach back as much as opens up your chest. And forward. Two more here. And forward. Last one. Light. We're going to go two more, so we're even. <laughs> Last one here. And come all the way up. Round the spine forward. One last set of cat cow. Arch that back. And round. Eyes to the back. Eyes to where the collarbones look. Eyes to the back. One more round here. Push into the floor with your knees, feet, and hands. And round the back. And then roll the side all the way up. You're going to turn so that you're facing perpendicular to the, um, or the parallel to the long side of your mat for side kneeling kick. Arms out to the side. You're going to take one hand down to the mat, opposite arm behind your head, and kick one leg out. Try to keep it parallel as you sweep it forward and back. The foot that's behind you on the floor, press it into the mat space. And when we were standing, we had our hands here, and we had props to help us know if we were moving. Here is a little bit more challenging. Let's go for three more. And for two. One, stop the leg in the center for lifts. Pulses, don't lift too high. I don't want you to lift so high that your bottom oblique sinks to the floor. Lift that bottom oblique away for four, three, two. Hold it on one point, three circles. And two, get the booty workout. And one, you've been sitting on for a month. Let's reverse for three. And two. On one, hold. You're going to bend the knee. You're going to reach it towards the floor. Pop yourself up. <laughs> and let's go to the other side. Reach to the floor, kick the leg out, hand behind the head. Forward and back. Again, try to let your bottom oblique like, sink. Try to lift it up and away. Gaze forward. Tendency is you're going to want to do this exercise like this. With your booty backwards, I want you to lift and push your butt forward. You should be able to do this exercise right up against the wall. Let's go for three. And for 
two. On one, stop it in the center for your lifts. Lift, lift. Push the back foot into the floor and your booty forward for three. Two, one, point the foot circles, three. Two, one, reverse it for three. And two, and one, hold. Can you bend the knee? Put the foot on the floor and pop yourself back up. Very good job. Bend over to one side, take a nice lateral flexion. Inhale, exhale, come up. Up and over to the other side. Ooh. And come up one more each way. And up, last one here. And come all the way up. You're gonna sit down on your mat face, turning to face the short side of your mat. Legs out nice and long. Sitting up nice and tall, bring your hands behind you on the back. Fingertips either facing away from you or out to the sides. From here, point your feet and just hold. From here, I want you to lift your booty and lower them. We're eventually gonna go into leg pulled back. If this feels like it's too much for you, this might be just where you stay. Modification would be, put the feet on the floor with bent knees. Lift and lower. Let's go a couple more here for three. And for two. And for one, lift, hold. If you wanna just hold, stay looking straight ahead. If you wanna add on, lift the leg, lower. Switch sides, lift and lower. Don't let your booty lower as your leg lifts. You wanna keep a nice long spot. Eyes straight ahead to where your feet are lifted. Point and then flex to load. One more to each side. Last one here and slowly lower. Down, flexing your feet, arms go up, round over and stretch. Catch your breath, scoop your belly, eyes to the thigh. Try to pull yourself forward with your hands, even if they're on your shins, and scoop the belly back to deepen your stretch for three. And for two. And for one, roll your spine up. Bend your knees, place your feet flat on the mat in front of you, fist distance apart, and bring your hands behind your thighs. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we roll halfway back. Scoop your belly and start to articulate the spine down halfway. And then scoop the belly to come back up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, eyes to the tummy to roll back. Inhale here. Exhale to come back up. Now continue just like that. Try to keep the feet flat on the floor. If they start to lift, press them down. And don't go past that spot where they want to lift up. Now if you want to add more challenge from there, arms out. Hands can come across the chest. Or if you're feeling frisky, hands behind the head. But always keep your elbows in your peripheral. Let's go for three more just like this. And come right back up. And for two. And right back up. One more here. We're going to take eight slow counts to roll down. Ready for eight, seven, six, five, four, 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 three, two, and one, arms and legs walk nice and long for a straight, good morning stretch. Take a nice big inhale, arch the back from the floor, it feels nice, don't tell the Pilates please. Take a nice big inhale as you exhale, bring your arms by your side and your feet flat to the mat in line with your hips. We're gonna take this into some bridging, lots of glute work for you today, like again, you've been sitting on them. From here, lift your hips up high. Inhale, exhale, lower back down. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. As you go along, if you want to add an articulation, you are welcome to do so. If you have any herniations or osteoporosis, you will continue flat back. Otherwise, you can curl your pelvis and bone by bone peel your spine up. And then start at the ribs and bone by bone roll back down. A couple more here. Can you push all 10 toes into the mat space? That's going to keep your knees nice and even. Two more here. Inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. One more here, we're gonna lift up for pulses. So lift up nice and high, hold. Go halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up. You can continue to articulate halfway down, you can go flat back. For four more, push the arms down, open the chest proud. For three, and for two. On one, inhale at the top for tiny pulses, up an inch, up an inch, up an inch. Your glutes are what should be holding you up all day long, so let's work them here. I'm sure you probably go sit on them here in a second. So let's do some more for four, and three, and two. Keep the hips up on one, and slowly melt the spine on down. Bring your feet and your knees together. We are gonna do Joe's traditional
traditional version of bridging, one round on each side. Knees and feet are hugging together, arms are by your side. From here, lift your hips up one time to stay there. From here, the right leg goes up towards the ceiling. If this is too much or when you start to move the leg, just pulse and pulse. If you want to add in the choreography, flex the foot, lower till the knees touch, point it to lift. Flex it to lower as low as you can, point to come up. One more here, how low can you go without arching the back? Lift and place the foot down right where it came from. Left leg comes up if you need a break, take it. If you want to just pulse, just pulse. Flex, lower thigh to thigh, point lift. Flex, lower thigh a little further. Point to come up one more time. Lower with an inhale. Lift with an exhale. Put the foot down where it came from. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll the spine on and down. Hug the knees in, rock a little side to side. Turn your head a little side to side. Catch your breath. And then cross right ankle over to opposite knee for a pure form and stretch. This one might feel a little deeper than when we were standing. If it doesn't, take your hand and push it onto the right knee to open your hips wider. And then switch to the other side. Hold that behind the thigh, not the shin. Push on the opposite knee if you need a deeper stretch. Flex the feet. Protect the knees for three. And two. And one. Hug the knees on and in. Okay. Bone into the abs series. Here we go. I promise we're going to stand up again. Don't worry. Hug your right knee into your chest. Left leg extends. If you need to keep the head down, please do. Otherwise, you're welcome to curl up and start to switch. And switch. And switch. Eyes to the thighs. I want you to brush one thigh right past the other. You should touch the wall across the room on the same spot with your big toe each time. Eyes to the belly. The shoulder blades should be off the mat. If it's only your head, put the head down. If you feel it in your neck, your abs are not working. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Hug in and rest. Lower the head, rock a little side to side. Going into double leg stretch, hold on to the shins. Curl up if that's at your practice. Arms go by the ears. Legs go only as low without arch of the back. Hug it back in. If you want to add on, you can circle the arms instead. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Eyes to the thighs. Notice when my arms go back, my head does not try to keep everything lifted. Five more seconds here at your own pace. And for four. And for three. And for two. And on one, hug your knees, lower down, rock side to side. Legs up towards the ceiling, grab on behind your calves or your thighs, take a hamstring stretch, point flex. Good, and then if you can curl up, do so. Hug behind your right calf and start to scissor those legs. Notice that one leg is brushing right past the other. Don't let them go out to the side. And switch, and switch. If you're holding on to the leg, hold on behind the calf or the thigh, not the knee joint, and eyes to the belly. Don't lift your booties off that mat, and if your head gets heavy, just put it down. It's actually harder to do it with your head down for five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Hug your knees, lower down, take a rest. Okay, everybody's favorite, double leg lowers. Legs to the ceiling, quick hamstring stretch, point flex, point flex. If you want to curl up, hands behind the head, elbows in your peripheral. Both legs will lower and both legs will lift. Only to the point where your back does not arch. If you feel that back arch, you've gone too far. I don't care if it's one inch or a hundred inches. Listen to your body. Inhale, lower, use your exhale to lift. If your heart is lifted, keep it lifted. When the legs lower down, your head is going to want to lower too, so keep those chests towards your knees. Go for three more, soften the knees. If you feel something in your hips, and for two, and for one, legs come up and in, and we're gonna finish with the crisscross. All right, hands behind the head if you can. I really want you to interlace your fingers. Try not to give me this like fingertip to my hair type of thing. Okay, grab onto your head, curl up, opposite elbow towards the opposite knee and start to switch and switch. Now it's the same thing as single leg stretch. Legs cast right by each other. Touch the same spot on the wall away from you, but this time your upper body is doing rotation. Think armpit to knee, armpit to knee. Remember when we did saw? That's basically saw lying down on the mat with your hands behind your head. Let's go five more seconds, faster. And for four, and for three, and for two, and for one, and take a rest. Woo. Good job, everybody. Now, that was the warm up for your abs. Ooh. So now we're gonna teaser. Yay, get ready. So since I've been 
facing the short edge of your mat. I'm going to give you lots of variations here. If you have osteoporosis or herniation, you do not want to roll all the way up and off the floor. Okay? You can sit up and you can just lean back instead and then sit right back up. Okay? But I'm going to go through the full version as though we were lying down. Knees bent, legs together, lie on the mat space. Instead of having your feet close to you like rigid, I want you to take your feet one, two big steps away from your butt towards the edge of your mat. Okay? Keep the legs together, arms by the side. Okie dokie. <clears throat> from here, I want you to take your arms out towards the ceiling and then roll the spine up and sit up tall. Now, if your feet are too close to your butt, you're going to be like this. So keep those feet away from you so you can stay correct. And then one vertebrae at a time, eyes to the tummy, and roll back down. Step number one, continue like that. If this becomes too much as I add things on, this is the safest place to be. Inhale here, and exhale to come up. Inhale at the top, and exhale to go down. If you want to take it a step further, once you're down, keep the right leg out, but keep your knees together. As you sit back up, reach your heart, your eyes, and your hands to your toe. And then roll right back down. Thighs together. One more with the right leg up. And down. And then switch the legs. Right foot down, left foot up. If you're just keeping the feet on the floor, just keep going. You're still getting lots of ab work. And lift. Use your breath. Take an inhale to prepare while you're down. Exhale to come up. Squeeze the thighs. And come right back down. Progressing from there, legs come to tabletop. They stay in table as you come up. And they stay in table as you go down. If that's more than enough for you, stay right there. Otherwise, here we go. We're going to add on. When you sit up, extend the legs out. And then bend them to come back in. Two more like that. And lift up, find teaser, heart crab. And back down. One more here, and lift up. And then lower all the way down. And take a quick rest, rock from side to side. Now, any of those versions you can do again. Otherwise, we're going to take you for full expression. Okay, legs go all the way out. Arms go all the way back. And like a big old taco. Inhale. Exhale, come up. If that's too much, any of the last variations we did is fine. Can you lower down and get your head and your heels ooh, to touch at the same time? Two more. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Eyes, collarbones, hands to the toes. Lower down. Can your heels and your head touch at the same time? One more. Inhale. Exhale, come up, hold. Woo. For three, four, two, on one, lower the legs and round over to stretch, flex your feet. Hang your head, look to your knees, shake it, little yes and no, scoop your belly, and catch your breath for three. And for two, and for one. Ready to jump. All right, feet flat on the mat, scoop towards your feet, towards the edge of your back. We're going to go into rolling like a ball, which is eventually going to bring us back to standing. If you know that rolling is not in your practice, you're welcome to just sit on your sit bones and balance. And when I say to stand up, you'll try to stand up. If you're going to rock and roll, remember, don't roll onto the back of your head. Toes are touching the mat, hands on the shins, eyes to the pubic bone. Don't look away. From here, keep your nose towards your knees and rock back to the shoulders. Come back up with your head hit the mat. You went too far. Inhale and rock back. Exhale to come up. Now the trick is, keep going. The trick is when we go to stand up, you want a slight bit of momentum, but not so much that you roll it on your head. You want to stand up by crossing the feet and putting them on the floor at the same time. Okay, we're going to go three more just like this. Inhale back. And exhale up. And for two, your arms are here to help you, and don't fall. Use your hands off the floor if you need to. But otherwise, on the last one, cross your ankles, reach forward, and stand up tall. Good job. All right, stand facing forward, feet back where we started, arms by the side. Tilt your right ear to your right shoulder, and center. Left ear to the left shoulder, and center. Now, you can have your eyes opened or closed, but as you're gently moving the head from side to side, don't force it, okay? I want you to notice if your feet feel different or the same as when we started class. Try to keep all 10, 10 toes on the mat. Big toe is even as your pinky toe is even as your heels. Now, take the chin to the chest, and then take the back chin to the seat. Chin to the chest, try not to move anything else. And chin down, don't move the shoulders, keep them open and proud through the collarbones for two. And for one, center the head, right ear to the right shoulder to circle around to the left and center. 
And left ear to left shoulder to circle around to the right. And up, one more each way. Just let your arms hang heavy. Try not to let the shoulders move. One more here to the other side. And sit up, nice and tall. Inhale the arms up, interlace those fingers and reach the palms to the ceiling. Try to keep the feet even on the floor and bend up and over to one side. The tendency is you want to lean so much that one foot has less pressure. The more pressure the opposite foot has that you're leaning toward, the deeper the stretch. Eyes to the ceiling. And up over to the other side. Plant both feet evenly. Ooh, my right foot has less weight for three. And for two. And for one, take it up and bring your arms out to the side. Palms face out. I want you to reach the heels of your hands to the opposite sides of the room. Hold up the walls of your house and draw me some circles with your heel, with the heel of your hand, like you're kind of smearing paint on the walls. Try not to let your upper body rock. Try to keep your feet even on the floor. Reverse, take those circles in the opposite direction. For six, five. This is really nice to do when you're at work and you've been sitting all day. For three, two, one, hold. Flip the palms to face you, fingers down, do the same thing. Go in one direction. This time you're drawing that circle with the back part of your heel and your wrist, or the hand in your wrist. And then reverse. For six, five, four, three, two, one, arms out, and lower them down and relax. Bring your feet together for me on the mat space, or if that feels like it's too much for your balance, open fist distance. Hands can either be on the hips, or if you want to test out your balance with your arms by your side, please do, because that's a little bit more natural than how we walk around every day. We don't walk around like this. From here, I want you to just bend your knees and straighten. And bend and straighten. Go down as far as feels good for you. I got short little Achilles, that's about all I've got. But if you can go pretty low, don't let your heels come off the floor. Try to keep the weight even, or take a nice deep stretch for three. And for two. On one, we bend, and then as we straighten the legs, we lift the heels, retesting out the balance. Lower the heels, bend the knees. Lift up and straighten the legs. Now, as you're going along, I want you to notice if your ankles are rolling in and out, your knees are rolling in and out, try to keep imaginary ball right between those legs. Remember at the beginning of class, we sucked up those inner thighs towards the tummy. Try to do that again here for three more. And for two. And for one, come up, hold, find your balance. With your feet off the floor, your heels off the floor as much as you can, send the right arm out. Don't fall, bring it down. Squeeze the ankles energetically towards each other, left arm out. And down, right arm forward. And down, left arm forward. And down, right arm circles. And down, left arm circles. And down, both arms up. We're gonna take 10 seconds to lower the heels and the arms. Turn the palms away from each other for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Now we're back standing. So you can go about your day and hopefully feel a little more awake and alert and on top of your feet. And um, I've been sitting a lot lately, so I'm trying to get up off those booties and move around. Um, I believe today's class was the last um, free class, but next week starts, I think, our paid membership, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to be teaching um, bar class on Mondays, uh, intermediate to advanced mat on uh, Wednesday. I did a lot of advanced intermediate stuff today, FYI. And then Fridays, I'm actually teaching restore. Yes! So please, please, please get a foam roller. If you don't have one, order it on Amazon. I don't know if it's essential, but order it. <laughs> and then if you have a little ball, like a tennis ball or something like that, get one of those because you're gonna wanna come to my Friday class. It can be so, 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 so good. So uh, if you have any questions or you need anything, please comment um, or um, find me on social media. I'm gonna be posting my schedule and um, keeping you guys up to date. Mwah! I miss you all. Have a good day. Thanks, Cecily. That was great. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job, everybody. Oh, bye, Kathy. Oh, oh, and you too, Jeanette. So many people came in after I started. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you, Leslie. You're welcome, Poom. Oh, good, Mary. I'm glad you feel better.